Greetings, tankers. My name is Adam Snellgrove, and welcome to Best Replays, the show that, as of today, not only rewards your skillful gameplay, but also your keen eye and the ability to press the print screen button. What am I talking about? Well, stick around till the end of the video to find out. And like, subscribe, share, comment, all that usual stuff while you're at it. So let's get straight into it. In third place, it's the newest addition to the German arsenal, the Tiger Mouse with Sotter in the commander seat. For those history buffs watching our videos, this tank is an early concept of the mouse with Henschel components. But instead, the concept was dropped in favor of the Porsche Mouse that we have in the game as the Tier 10. And while I've been reading this intro, Zotter has been hard at work camping at the back of the map. While the green team disintegrates right in front of their eyes. Thus, the decision to play a bit more passive does seem to have been a prudent one. Especially when our cover appears in the shape of a pattern. However, should our editor Zane quickly bring up the minimap, it becomes painfully obvious that only four and a half minutes into this game, Zotter is completely surrounded. The only question is, one versus how many? Ho-ho! A duel between the two new Tier 9 tanks? Bring it on! What awareness! Destroying the two dangerous enemy tanks on one shot and ensuring we don't get flanked in the future. And now finally... Dispatching the pattern to turn this game into... a one versus three. On the bright side, this particular allied tank in front of Zota has proven to be more useful dead than alive. Oh, no way! What a sick shot! So in the end, it's a one-on-one -on -one duel with a rival Tiger Mouse. It's all going to be down to that next shot. Better make it count. Yes! Zotter clutches the shot, destroying the enemy tank to win the game. GG! What an exceptional game by Zota, demonstrating great tactical knowledge by not overcommitting at the start. Followed by level headed plays and a proper one on one standoff against an identical tank. Narrowly missing out on Kalabanos but securing 2000 gold, a best replay style, and third place this week. Congratulations! Up next, we've got another Henschel tank, the VK45.02A and Norwich 94. And a comment section friendly ammo loadout, with nothing but AP and a few HE shells. Come on, hands up all of you that were going to complain about us only featuring premium ammo replays. One, two, up, oh, you, yes, you in the back row, spamming comments every episode. Right. Now that I have order in my class, I'm able to mention that we're on Siegfried Line, assault side. Thus, time will be of the essence. 
and space is at a premium. So predictable. Hey, this was supposed to be the assault side, not the defense one. Yet, despite holding firm in the middle of the map, Norwich now has an unwelcome company behind them. Enemies are just everywhere. Okay, that's one way of solving that enemies everywhere problem. Norwich has racked up nine kills just like that. And despite being all alone against four enemy tanks, I'd bet my hard earned credits on our hero to win this one. Uh oh, well, with the Hellcats playing as a team, this might be tricky. That was a picture-perfect engagement. Now it's all down to finding that Crusader SP. Ha! And securing a Fadin's medal, I see. Uh, Artie? Well, that's awkward. This game is a loss. Well, now that's an awkward game if I've ever seen one. Norwich 94 desperately wanted Kalabanos and Fanny's medals, yet lost the game instead. By our calculations, there was just enough time to cap the base, but instead, we end up with our first defeat of 2024 on the show. Had this been a victory, we would surely make it our best replay. But unfortunately, Norwich 94 will have to settle for 2,500 gold and a best replay style. Finale, we have Andrew Jimson in the Hesh Barn. Wait, what is that music? Ah, give me some hard rock instead. That's more like it. And that's what I like to see as well. An FV leading the charge is practically a guarantee of an exciting replay. One that's over for this particular Cobra, moments after spotting the first enemy tank. <gasps> well, uh, that's your HP gone. Let's not forget that the armor values on this tank are closer to tinfoil than anything decent. Alright, as much fun as YOLOing to blow up tanks is, in order to win this game, Andrew Jimson will need a change of tactics. 
as the enemy team simply holds an unbreakable defensive position while the green tanks have been dropping one by one. Oof, ooh, that's gonna be a tough shot. Never mind, what a kill! Oh, and again! These light tanks are having no luck against our Doom Barn. Ooh, this just keeps getting better and better. Now, as long as we're able to keep this friendly Progetto alive, we still have every chance to win the game. Well, so much about that Progetto. Oh, no way, we're not getting spotted here. Get wrecked! Although fighting a GSOR won't be a walk in the park. Unless it decides to drive into the open. So, now that we're on 10 kills with just one RT remaining, am I supposed to create suspense once more? Oh, come on, don't be one of those submarine arties. Wow, <laughs> it was all a ruse by the GW Tiger. GG. Oh, that got really close in the end. Too close for comfort, if you ask me, with the GW Tiger nearly ending the game in heartbreak. Nevertheless, 12k damage and 11 kills was just about enough to carry this friendly team. The effort for which Andrew Jimson shall be proclaimed the best replay of the week and claiming 3000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! And that's about all we had for this week. But before we go away, there's one more thing we owe you. The best screenshots you submitted. Our winners this week are Maxixian with this stunning photo. HSXE with this lovely father and son composition. Oh, I do love this one. And Firestar7890 with this beauty. Now that's going to be my wallpaper for the month. We'll contact each one of you through Discord in the following few days. As for the rest of you, remember that you can submit your screenshot at any time in the official World of Tanks Discord server. Coincidentally, it's the same place you can submit your replays to us as well. So, what are you waiting for? Get to it! And on that note, I'm Anima Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!